What I'm doing crane work where I have to jump on and off the ball, I keep two ropes with me. And here I put in the double rope and then I'll have him cable up so I can slip the sling, the steel chokers that we use out here out west on the wood, slip that over the top and then I'll undo my second line, slip that over the top and get that in place, have him cable up and then I'll just repel. And when I repel it down, throw my lanyard on, throw the, uh, the SRT line, the blue line there, hook that up and then I'll just take out the double line and start the cut and deal with the slack while he's cabling the, the log away. And that kind of saves a couple seconds, I feel like. Uh, I don't know if everybody's already doing that or what, but I just thought I'd share it. So now I'll just pull up the double rope and instead of pulling the slack through the knot, I'm going to just make sure he's good to go and just jump right into a cut. With this next example, it's a similar thing. I've got sort of a central point that I'm working from where I'm making the cuts and then I'm jumping on the ball to set the slings uh, on the really long bananaed out limbs. So then I'll, I'll go out there, set it off my double rope, rappel back in and then jump onto my SRT line which is in the same spot. And then I can lanyard in and get ready to make my cut and while I'm, after I'm cutting and while the crane operator takes the piece away, then I'll, I'll stop and I'll pull the slack out of my double rope instead of pulling the slack out of the double rope while he's waiting for me, it saves a little bit of time. I think I've seen Rion Rounds kind of work a tree like this where he'll have sort of a central point that he keeps going back to to, uh, to make the cuts on the limbs. It just all kind of depends on the shape of the tree you're dealing with, I guess. The takeaway message is pull your rope, make the cut so that the operator's never waiting on you, and then you deal with the slack later while everyone else is busy.